Hello, today it's how to play like a clarinet. No, kidding. But that's some of it. We are going to learn this. Uh, because we are the guitar, we are going to learn the chords and the lick. Uh, but we'll start with these chords. So this is a 12 bar blues. You can see that the numbers are arranged in three lines of four and the letters which reflect the same information are also in three lines of four. We're playing B flat because this is sort of a clarinet piece and those things do better in these keys. So uh, what it means is um, that we're going to play the chord B flat, four measures, then we're going to play E flat, four measures, uh, sorry, two, then B flat for two, then the last line is two, two measures of F, two measures of B flat, and the lick uh, derives from these harmonies. So the reason I wrote the numbers is that if you do the alphabet, uh, you would go B flat, C, D, E flat, F, and those could also be said to be one, two, three, and four. And so that's a reflection of that, and it's really useful on a guitar, not so much on a clarinet. Here's the chords we're going to use. They're sort of Django type of chords, uh, Django Reinhardt type of chords. So we're in B flat. So I have my middle finger on the sixth fret of the low string. I have my first finger on the uh, fifth fret of the fourth string. I have my pinky on the seventh fret of the third string, and I have my uh, ring finger on the sixth fret of the second string. I'm blocking out I'm blocking out the A string and it sounds like that. Uh, the next chord I'm going to be using for for E flat all I'm going to do is switch strings with my pinky and ring finger and put them both in the sixth fret and it sounds like that. It's it's a complicated for me to explain the harmony but basically it's E flat E flat 7, E flat 9, and here's the E flat 9 here, and I'm putting the 5 on the bottom like. So that looks like this. But the fact is, to go from one to the other, you just learn to move those two fingers. And of course, if this is the 4 chord on the guitar, the 5 chord could look just the same and be two frets higher. So again, we're going one chord four times, four chord two times, back to the one chord two times, up to the five chord two times, back to the one chord, and at the end I'll put a little ending in where I go one, four, one. All right, so the lick for this goes like this. And travels through the chords. So that lick is da 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 ba ba da da. Two measures long. So that means I'll have to do it twice uh, for the B flat chord, then move somewhere else or whatever, do it twice for the E flat chord, back to the B flat chord. Twice for the F chord, and then we'll get an ending. Chords go like this one, two, three, four, ba da. And that's it. And you do it four million times with your friends while everybody's drinking coffee and playing lots of notes. The slide bit, I'm just strumming mainly down. But if I just keep flowing and hit occasional ups, and you see I'm muting that chord. I play it, and I mute it. So when I come up, it often sounds just like... Now the slide. So I was putting it in, I think, once in the two bars. But you can put it in more.
actual jazz players play many fewer strums, really, than I do. I try to be the whole 16-piece uh, orchestra. Anyway, here's the lick right out of a, a B flat chord. That's the chord from an E bar. Then the sixth note. Every note in there is a member of this chord except for the six. And right here, the flat three is a little bit ornamental. It goes to the three. Now, you guitarists will know that you can could just go up five frets and learn it there, but we're going to try to learn it here. Next time. Jump blues in B flat. Play like a clarinet. Why not? Well, you got something else to do out here?